one of the things that's amazing about Belizean culture is that uh, it is incredibly diverse. Um, you know, we often hear that uh, the U.S. is uh, considered a melting pot, and um, and that is true. But one forgets that whereas in the U.S. you have 300 million people, Belize, which is about the size of Massachusetts, um, with only about 300,000 people, is just as incredibly culturally diverse as the Mayan culture. We have the Spanish culture. We have the Creole culture, we have the Garifuna culture. You know, African background, we have people from European background, from North American background, Middle Eastern. We have the Kechi Mayan culture, we have the Mopan Mayan culture. East Indians are who locally are known as coolies. The Yucatecan Mayan culture. What makes us Belizean? And you have the mixed one like me with make me a real Belizean. beans, fried chicken, stewed chicken, plantain. That is the typical food of Belize. If you consider that the women are the head of the household in this country, in the real sense of the word, then clearly one has to imagine that women do carry a, a lot of, of power. Um, but in, let's say, the real world, like politics and uh, governance, at least the, in the public nature, women don't play a, a very significant role. They're not out there. Then. They may be behind the scenes, but they're certainly not. Women are supposed to be subservient and cook and clean and take care of the house and raise the children. And the men can go do what they want to do. More okay. women getting educated. It's changing. changing, but a lot of the like the village women, the women in the, um, what do you call those, like the villages and towns and stuff, they, they still don't have as many opportunities as the men. People would prefer to hire a man to do a job. And even the women who are educated, people would still prefer to have a man work in that same position, even though she's qualified. We know that in, in America, you know, women have, over the years, achieved relative equality with men. Um, is that the case in Belize? My answer would be yes and no. Um, politically, officially, yes, there's no Belize distinction. is more Creole and not Spanish. <laughs> Yesterday was the ladies' day. And Belize don't take a holiday for that. <laughs> um, the schools here are based more on a British system than on the American system. So we have like preschool, which is pretty um, new in Belize preschool still. And then you have instead of like, um, how do you call it? Like, Elementary, yeah. elementary or grade school? Well, instead of calling it all those, you just go to infant school, and then to um, after infant school, you get into the different standards, which is one to six, and then high school, and then college after. Today is um, Baron Blaze holiday, which is this guy that sailed into the country and died here and left a lot of money for the country, so. He also has um, a holiday here. At Carnival, there's like different, um, it's held in Belize City and different groups participate, have on costumes, all those colorful costumes and stuff. And they parade in Belize City, like the main street on Princess Margaret Drive. I have to choose a favorite place in Belize, and it would be Hopkins. Hopkins is a Garifuna village that's in the southern part of the country near Dangriga. Um, it's a very, very nice, quiet um, village. It's on the sea, sea uh, shore, it's on the seafront there. And a lot of people there still do the same traditional things that the Garifuna do, and they still dress the same way. And it's very, very quiet, very nice. It's not as touristy 
as some of the other destinations in Malaysia. Mm. One of my favorite places is Key Cocker, just because my family originally came from there and we still have a lot of our family who live out there. So as soon as I can get a weekend off or some holiday, you know, a long weekend and I can have an extra day, I would just like to go out there just to hang out by the sea because we don't have that here. Despite the fact that we were a British colony, I think that we share more similarities with America than we do with England. Um, Belize, as a Central American country, has incredibly always had this pro-American outlook. Um, we, yeah, I mean, most Belizeans support America, and, and the question is why? Well, if you were to study a little more about Belizean culture, you will find out that just about every Belizean family has a member of that family that lives in America. And so that tie has remained very close. When Belizeans want to go on vacation and want to go shopping, guess where they go? They go to the US or the States. You know, Belizeans by and large dress more like, uh, like Americans. Or music, again, or music, you know, you know, a lot of our music comes from America. A lot of people listen to rap and you know, rock and roll, uh, even country. Belize is a very interesting country culturally. We have our own unique culture, um, which is very different from American culture, but there are a lot of American cultural influences in Belize. It's no rush anytime here.